Good morning. For today's video, our topic is adding similar fraction with regrouping. What is similar fraction? Similar fraction is a fraction with the same denominator. For example, two fifths, one fifth, and three fifths. They are similar fraction because their denominator is the same, and that is five. Let's have a problem. Mati went to a market. She bought seven tenths kilos of pork and five tenths kilos of beef. How many kilos of meat did she buy? Again, Mati went to a market. She bought seven tenth kilos of pork and five ten kilos of beef. How many kilos of meat did she buy? First, who went to the market? Correct. Mati went to the market. What did she buy? Very good. She bought 7 10 kilos of pork and 5 10 kilos of beef. But Mati has a problem. She wants to know the total kilos of meat she bought. Can you help Mati in solving her problem? But before that, let's review first what are the steps in adding similar fraction. Step number one, add the numerators. Number two, copy the denominator. Number three, if your answer is an improper fraction, change it into mixed number. And number four, express your answer to its lowest term. Number one, add the numerators. So we have seven tenths plus five tenths. The numerator is 7 and 5. So let's add 7 plus 5. The answer is 12. Step number 2. Copy the denominator. 7 tenths and 5 tenths are similar fraction because they have the same denominator. And their denominator is 10. So we get 12 tenths. And because 12 tenths is an improper fraction, so we need to change it into mixed number. Step number three. If your answer is an improper fraction, change it into mixed number. So 12 tenths. So we have to divide the numerator by its denominator. So 12 divided by 10, we get 1. 1 times 10, the answer is 10. 12 minus 10, the answer is 2. So 
the mixed number for 12 tenths is 1 and 2 tenths. Step number 4. Express your answer to its lowest term. So we have 2 tenths as the proper fraction for our mixed number. So first step, what factor or prime factor can we have in 2? So we have 2. Because 2 times 1 will give us a product of 2. And the prime factor for 10 is 2 times 5. Now, their greatest common factor or their same common factor is 2. So it means that the lowest term for 2 tenths is 1 fifth. So the final answer or Matty's problem is 1 and 1 fifth is the total kilos of meat Mati bought. Now, let's play. Hi, my name is Mateo. Come and let's play with me. Number one, find the sum of four pips plus two pips. Number two, find the sum of six elevenths plus seven elevenths. Number three, find the sum of two-thirds plus two-thirds. Number four, find the sum of four-tenths plus three-tenths. And number five, find the sum of nine fifteenths plus two fifteenths. Let's check. Are you ready? Let's start. For number one, four fifth plus two fifth, the answer is. 1 and 1 fifth. Congratulations! Number 2. 6 elevenths plus 7 elevenths. The correct answer is 1 and 2 elevenths. Congratulations! Number 3. Two-thirds plus two-thirds. The answer is one and one-third. Congratulations! Number four. Four-tenths plus three-tenths. The correct answer is seven-tenths. Congratulations! And last, 9 fifteenths plus 2 fifteenths. The answer is 11 fifteenths. Congratulations! Always remember that similar fraction is a fraction with the same denominator. 
and the steps in adding similar fraction are number one add the numerators number two copy the denominator number three if your answer is an improper fraction change it into mixed number and number four express your answer to its lowest term thanks for watching do not forget to like comment share and subscribe bye